Hello, my name is Henry. To those of you that have been watching me for a while now, I've seen a couple of my videos, the one thing that you will notice is that repeatedly, again and again, I've mentioned Seneca. So it come up in all my videos about, you know, how I got a nine in them or just my general, like how to advise in the last few months or weeks. So today I'm going to be doing a video on Seneca. I'm going to be explaining how I used it to get the best grades I possibly can. And I'm going to be focusing it more on the last kind of two months of revision because this will be aimed more for year 11. So the quality may be lower, but that's because I'm just trying to release as many videos as I can to help out. So please leave a like and subscribe. And I'm going to show it to you through my computer, through an app um, and talk to you about it there. So it might be a bit more of a technical video today, but it's Seneca for me was my favourite revision resource online. Uh, and I would very, very highly recommend it for revision, especially when we don't have much time left. Um, and I think it's more effective than just kind of reading from a textbook or something like that because you interact with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you that now. Okay, so this is Seneca for those of you that haven't seen it at all. This is the home page, this is what it looks like. So we just kind of got Welcome Back, Henry, um, recent courses. So the courses bit is the only real bit you should be interested in. Um, the first thing that you need to do to those of you that are really uh, new to it is add your courses. So check if your courses are on there. Um, you can filter it by age group, so GCSE, then just pick your subject. So I've, I've picked biology as an example. Uh, you can literally add all your, make sure you're doing it by exam board too. So add all of your subjects first. Um, I'm just going to go on a new one, which was biology. Here we go. And Excel GCC higher. So this is what it kind of looks like. This is what the page kind of looks like. So these are all the topics for Edexcel GCC Biology. Uh, you should know which one's paper one, which one's paper two, but it's in order. So this is all paper one, and then that one will be paper two. I think it'll, I think it's the last three for that one. So this is what one page looks like here, and this is what it kind of looks like. So it's going to give you some information like that about different types of cells, and then it will ask you some questions. So you eukaryotic. Um, my advice here would be lots of people just kind of when they see questions or this thing they just like click on it until they find the right one if you don't know the answer to one of the questions on Seneca just click continue or click check like check your answer um, so if I just don't know here don't scroll up and try and find it just check your answer and kind of move on that would be my advice with that because those people scroll up that doesn't help you what helps you in learning often is getting something wrong and thinking, oh, like that's why I got it wrong. And that's called active recall and desirable difficulty. That's Those are two key components of revision. So don't be worried if you get it wrong. You don't need to get like 100% or anything like that. So that'd be my advice with that. What I would do then is I would get planner um, and start from the beginning. If you haven't done any at all before, I would start from the beginning. So on one day, I would try and do, let's say, half of this. So... I'd just try and do this topic, cell types, and then next day I'd try and do enzymes and transport. Then now the key thing here is something called spaced repetition. So this probably works when we have more time until GCSEs. But what you would then do, and what I've done on my A level, is within the next couple days you should go over that again, and then you should go over that in a week's time then two weeks time, a month's time, two months time, and then just keep repeating it again and again every two months. So you'll probably end up doing it in total about six times, five times. Now that's more for people in year 10 because we don't have the time to be going through everything, you know, again and again. You don't have the time to do that. And for A-levels, I don't have the time to do that anymore. So what I would just recommend is make sure you go over all of everything. Try and do it, start from the top, work down and the first one is honestly the most I found it the most helpful for me because you a lot of it comes back to you it's like you just kind of remember learning it a bit and it's all of that that really helps your revision so try and I would to those of you that are aiming for much higher grades if you have the time and if you have the commitment because it does take time go through every science around twice prioritize the topics you find harder for some context, I'm just going to show you in the um, description, I'm going to put the amount of time I spent for each subject. But this is how much time I spent on Seneca. It was a lot of time. So, biology, GCSE, 20 hours. About 20 hours I spent on biology, GCSE, Seneca. So, across the year, that was only about an hour a week or something. But in all my subjects, it was similar. Some of them was high. I think chemistry is about 40 almost. 33 hours. Um... 
geography is similar so all my subjects was about 20 30 hours overall um, and there's also GCSE history stuff like that so that would be my advice in terms of Seneca and the other thing to check as well is this thing here called memory strength so this tells you when you next need to complete it so if it says use smart learning mode to boost it that means you need to go over it again um, and here I'll show you an example in my politics so this is my A level course so I've spent a lot more time on it if I click on somewhere like this and click memory strength it says repeat this section in two months to boost it so this allows me to kind of check in when I want to next revise that and go over that okay so that's everything on the app now I'm just gonna go back to my phone so finally I just want to talk for a little bit about the subjects I'd recommend and I think Seneca works the best for obviously we have to start thinking a bit about time and stuff now but the subjects I would not do Seneca for and I didn't is maths I didn't find it helpful for maths at all I actually did English literature in year 11 I only got good at or only started using Seneca in year 10 so I think English literature you could use for it DT I didn't love it for but because DT is difficult to advise I kind of did it anyway um trying to think of any other subjects that I wouldn't recommend it for I used it for all other subjects other than maths was the main one that I didn't use it for and English language I didn't really use it for too so that's just in subjects it's much more effective it's really good for science and some of the humanities is really good geography I think Seneca is amazing um, that for geography it's literally just Seneca and then flashcard case studies and practice questions that's all I did to get a nine so that'd be my advice in terms of that and the final thing just to remember is make sure you're trying to plan it so write down you know in the next week when are you going to do this when are you going to do that as always please leave any questions i hope that helps it was just a kind of quick run through of how i revised using seneca like i said for those of you that in year 10 i will go over it in a bit more detail when i have the time to do that but that's just my general advice for seneca so please leave any comments if you want anything clarified a bit more and that's what i would do thanks for watching